In this video, I'll walk you through how you can bulk schedule your posts in WordPress. This makes scheduling all of your posts much easier than going in and doing it one by one. So if you're ready, let's get started. So what you want to do is make sure that you're in your WordPress dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new, and the plugin that we're looking for is auto post scheduler. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now. Make sure you also stick around to activate it as well. Great. Now that's activated, you can either go here under plugins under settings, or if you ever need to come back to it, simply go from your dashboard down to settings, auto post scheduler to configure. You see right now it's currently disabled, so we'll want to enable it, but there are also some settings that we'll need to adjust. First, we need to decide how often we want to schedule posts. By default, it's set for 24 hours. So every 24 hours, a new post will be scheduled. If you are wanting to do say once a week or something like that, then you'll want to set this up here and either put either three days or every five days. If you want it for hours and say you want to do a couple a day, you can do for every 12 hours and schedule it like that. Restart on publish means if you check that, then it will start going through and republishing your older posts. It's like a refreshing of your older posts and it will set it up with a new date on there. The start scheduling delay, if you hit enable right now, it would immediately go out and start posting right now. So if you wanted to delay this by a couple of hours and say you don't want the first one to go out until two hours from now to get this started, you could do that. And then down here, these are the items that you want to limit for this to happen on. By default, it would just be on posts. But if you had other content that you wanted to schedule out, you could do that as well. Under here, you could also limit under just categories, specific categories that you want to do the scheduling for. And then you can also limit by authors. So if you have a particular author that you want to schedule this out on. Down here, if there are certain keywords that you want to keep from this happening on, then you can post those in here. And then if you have a particular schedule that you want to keep, then you can add the time ranges in here. For instance, if you only want to post on Mondays, then you could put in a time range for that. Say for instance, on Monday, we only want to post between nine o'clock AM and nine o'clock PM. This is military time. So you'll do 0900 to 2100. And that would be from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And then you could do that for multiple ranges. And this is great if you only want to post things on your blog, say Monday through Friday, you would fill this up all throughout and leave Saturday and Sunday out. Scrolling down on the do not schedule on dates, that's perfect for if there's a holiday or a specific day that you don't want anything scheduled, simply put that date in here in this format and it will do that for you. And it will not schedule anything out on that particular day. On el eligible post statuses, that's perfect if you have a, an editorial flow where you go from draft to pending and you can pick which ones that you want the scheduler to draft out. So if it's pending, that's perfect. Then it'll go out, find all the pending posts and schedule only those. That way you can keep drafts in where you're still doing your editorial formatting or having an editor check up on those. So that's a perfect example of specifying which posts are ready to go. And then there are a few more settings that you could choose, but that's pretty good for us. So let's go ahead and click update options. And then we'll also want to enable auto post scheduler. And then all you would have to do is go into your posts and pick the ones that are ready, say our drafts, go in and find those that are ready to go and simply edit them and put them as pending. And then these will be the ones that will be scheduled out next. And that's a real quick and easy way to bulk schedule posts in WordPress. And thanks for watching.